we have now moved in as the rail team to install the rail, the overhead line system and uh, all of the uh, cabling on the walls for the mechanical and electrical fit out. Our tunnel consists of two tracks totalling about 1.3 kilometres. In the tunnel we have a slab track construction, so instead of the traditional ballasted uh, track that you see all the way around Perth, here we have a concrete slab and the rail is directly fixed onto that, so there's no ballast, there's no uh, little to no maintenance that needs to be done once we've installed the work. After the uh, tunnelling guys have poured the slab, we come through and we pour holes into the slab so that we can bolt our rail down onto that. After the holes have been poured, we come through and we put our plates down on the concrete slab. Once we've done that, we have what we call a slave panel. So this is a uh, bottom-up construction technique that we call, where uh, we install some temporary rails. These rails are able to be adjusted in position and we work to a tolerance of one millimetre in all directions. So the rails are put in, our surveyors come through with a Leica trolley. This trolley then positions the rail and our guys make manual adjustments to within one millimetre. Once that's done, we are able to then pour our grout and our chem set and lock the rail into position. Uh, at that time, the dummy rails or the slave rails come out and then we put in our permanent rails and the job's done. There's three main benefits of the solar conductor rail system. One is the fact that we can reduce the height of the tunnel. The other fact is that uh, the maintenance requirements are significantly less than a soft wire system. And the other benefit is obviously safety where we have a fixed rigid rail and a fixed cable in place rather than a cable under tension which could dewire. Once the track is laid, the last process is that the overhead team will use high rail equipment from the track level and they'll thread the copper into its final position and make sure that the alignment's suitable to run trains safely.